We're joined by Dr. Andrea Bartoli, Dean of the School of Diplomacy and International Relations at Seton Hall University. Good to see you, Doctor. Good to see you. So many things going on internationally. Yes, we are a New Jersey-based show, but uh, New Jersey needs to be connected to the rest of the world. Could you help us understand this? Uh, the U.S. relations right now, largely through President Trump, and its connection to our quote-unquote European allies and, uh, let's say, Canada as well. How are we doing toward the end of June 2018? How are we so, doing? So the U.S. is doing what President Trump announced during his campaign. And so in that sense, it's interesting because President Trump is just keeping his words. So the Europeans are clearly startled by this. Uh, why? He said it and he's doing it. Exactly. So why are you surprised? Well, because this is really a departure. And it's a departure because for administration, both the Republican and Democrats, the Europeans and the Canadians were clearly the fundamental bedrock of the international system. President Trump is unusual. President Trump is an independent president, fundamentally. He's breaking away from a lot of cliché, a lot of things that were done in the past, and um, he's exploring new territories. So he doesn't consider an alliance as the one that the U.S. had with Europe and Canada as a bedrock. He's renegotiating everything. Including trade. Especially trade. Especially trade because for him, trade speaks volume about power. So what the Europeans are... Uh, having difficulties is that President Trump is clearly uh, pushing a speed of change, a, an intensity of the change that uh, for the Europeans is just a little bit off-putting. So when the president says, <clears throat> you know what, Vladimir Putin, he should be part of our group. Yes. He belongs with us. You think what? Well, I think that it's important to speak with everybody. I do fear, however, when we are speaking only or primarily to authoritarian figures around the world. I don't have any problem. Be it the leader of North Korea, be it the leader of China, uh, China the leaders right. of Russia. and, and they're, not some, they're not quote unquote democratic societies. They are definitely not. And uh, Europe is. So it's an interesting signal that you are sending around of what really counts. And uh, it's fundamentally a lesson on power. Uh, the ones that do have power, we are talking to. The ones that are procedural, the ones that are participatory, the ones that are truly democratic, well, we are not that interested because in many ways they are weak. But Dr. Uh, Bartol, by the way, this is Dr. Andrea Bartoli, uh, Dean of the School of International Relations and Diplomacy at Seton Hall University, the other way around, but we'll see it up there. Is there a risk, or what is the risk, by saying, you know what, yes, we've been together with these European countries, France, Germany, um, uh, England, and, and also Canada, et cetera, et cetera. But you know what? I don't think we need them so much. Is there potentially a time, An Dr. Loaded question, I know, that we really want to go to them, and they're like, wait a minute. But, you didn't but, treat us right. But there is an enormous risk even further. The question is, what is the world you want to live in? So you want to live in a world in which everybody's robbing everybody, or you want to live in a world in which everybody's respecting everybody? Well, power is interesting because, of course, I have a certain power if I have weapons, if I have the capacity to harm you, to steal from you. But what about actually having a village in which the roads work, a school works, mm. the light works, <clears throat> and so on and so forth? So it's really an issue of what is the world that we are anticipating? Are we living in a world that is really just a power game, or are we living in a world that is about respecting, that is about what do you accounting? Think? You're asking a rhetorical question. I'm asking it because I think that the world that we are creating is the world that we have inside. And this is why it's so important for us to cultivate actually our own values, our own commitments. Our being citizens of the nation or citizens of the world? Both, both. Because we are in a way now very clearly building the world as we go. You were speaking about New Jersey before. Yes. But New Jersey is the world. There is no doubt that you have, you know, the Prime Minister of Portugal coming to see the soccer game. And down in the ironbound section and, of Newark because... And, 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 there's so many Portuguese who live exactly. in the Arab Belt. It have, is the world. And then you have, you have the largest Indian uh, city outside India and dressed right here. You know? That's and, you right. have, and my family came from Naples. And, and, and please. You're, you're, you came from a different section of Italy, did I'm you not? I'm definitely Roman. So I, how here did I, I am. know that? How did I know? We're different so, paillets. But the but that's point is that New Jersey, New Jersey is really the world. 
So it's connected. We can't, so excuse me for interrupting, doctor. Is it dangerous for us to be so provincial and say, this is New Jersey, we just care about ourselves? But or it's America? Just, but it's, what I'm saying is that it's just impossible because everybody's already here. You have a lot of people from all over that are already here. You have Hungarians here, you have Somali here, you have Nigerians here, you have Chinese here. Hmm. So I think it's important actually to take New Jersey very seriously and to see the politics and the policies that we are experimenting here may have effect actually in a lot of places. We are in a moment of humanity in which we can learn from one another in a way that we couldn't in the past. But from the way you get your garbage to the way you do your education, from the way you do transportation to the way you welcome people, you are actually setting the tone, not just for New Jersey, but right. for the world you want to have. Brother Steve Adubato here. We're talking with Dr. Bartoli from Seton Hall University about a whole range of international issues. I have to do this. As we speak right now, the immigration issue is complex, confusing. As we speak, literally, the whole qu at the end of June 2018, the whole question of babies, children being separated from their um, parents. Is that a diplomacy issue? Very is it a much. negotiation? What, what is it? Very much. So it's, first of all, these choices, human choice. You know, laws are human choice, borders are human choices, interpretation and executions are human choices. Excuse me for interrupting, Doctor. As we speak right now, the president is saying, it's the law, don't ask me, I'm just following the law. Well, he's also saying we can review the law, and so it's also important to see what is the opening that he's offering. So it's, imposs it's impossible to think the crisis unless we try to find a way out. Could we do an overhauling and changing the, 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 the law about immigration? Of course, I believe that this is what the country should do. And definitely, it's not easy politically, but it's something that a state like New Jersey should consider. Let me ask you this. We're I said when we're taping toward the end of June, this show will be seen after that. If you were predicting it, would you say that we are, in fact, going to take on a meaningful discussion and real changes in immigration policy we for have the better? To. We have to. We have to. For if we do not... Um, America, economically, politically, needs a lot of migrants. Uh, it's absolutely necessary for America to grow, to be great, to actually have a very significant, meaningful conversation on immigration. And the pathway to legal immigration. That's, that's the issue that you need to have when you have president, Congress, and states together. And right. this is why America really needs to come together. Dr. Andrea Bartoli. Dean of the School of Diplomacy and International Relations at Seton Hall University, originally from beautiful Roma. Thank you, Dean. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank Check you. out next time on State of Affairs. We're in Newark, not Rome. <laughs> State of Affairs with Steve Adubato is a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. State of Affairs with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Agnes Veris NJTV studio at 2 Gateway. Funding has been provided by New Jersey Resources, Valley National Bank, Summit Medical Group, NJ Best, the New Jersey Office of the Insurance Fraud Prosecutor, New Jersey Council of County Colleges, and by... International Union of Operating Engineers, Local 825.